students today we shall take up your new topic that is electronic configuration now before going to electronic configuration let us know something about an atom an atom as you know is a tiny particle of an element that atom contains electrons now the question is where these electrons are exactly located in an atom for that purpose we have already studied quantum numbers but here we will not discuss them because we have already gone through them here we will tell you the exact location of your electrons electrons are present in an atom atom has shells the circular parts so your electron can be present in that very shell then your shells have sub shells they are smaller than shells so you are that electron that may be present in the sub shell now we have four types of sub shells here s sub shell p sub shell d sub shell and f sub shell as far as your s sub shell is concerned it has got one orbital your p orbital that sub shell that has three orbitals your d sub shell has five orbitals and your f sub shell has as many as seven orbitals now your electron is basically present in these orbitals here before going to this electronic configuration we should go through some rules those three rules i shall take them one by one the first first rule is pauli's exclusion principle pauli's exclusion principle one i will discuss it later the second rule are the principle that is up bar principle and the last but not the least is another rule that is hans rule we should have a thorough knowledge for building electronic configuration of an element the first rule is pauli's exclusion principle this principle states that no two electrons in an atom can have same value for all the four quantum numbers that is if suppose i have an electron present in an atom suppose it has same value for principal quantum number your principal quantum number the azimuthal quantum number the magnetic quantum number suppose suppose i have an electron that has same values for all these three quantum numbers then it is sure that the fourth quantum number that is spin quantum number that will be different this means that if in an orbital if we have an orbital suppose it has two electrons these are two electrons now you see suppose this orbital is 1s it has got as many as two electrons now your principal azimuthal and magnetic quantum number for both these electrons is same but the fourth quantum number the value of fourth quantum number that is spin quantum number that is different how this electron has clockwise spin while as this electron has anti clockwise spin so this rule simply states that no two electrons in an atom can have same values for all the quantum number that is all about this rule now we have second rule that is up bar rule up bar rule here up bar means it is a german word basically up bar is a german word meaning build up now what we have to build up here we have to build up electronic configuration of an element 
So your Abba principle is a principle, is a law which tells you how you should proceed while building up electronic configuration of an element. Now the, this rule says that you have to fill up these orbitals which are here in this table. But what is the rule for filling up, filling up them? The rule is that first you have to fill the lowest energy orbital. That means you have to provide electrons, you have to assign electrons to the orbital which has lowest energy. Then you have to proceed further, then higher energy orbital, next, uh, uh, next energy high orbital. And similarly we move to the last. Now the question is how we can recognize this symmetry, how we can recognize this uh, increasing order of energy. For that purpose, this rule that is your ABBA principle that helps us. Here I have a table, I will tell you how to make this. Now what you do, you just make a row, this is a, this is a vertical row. Now, 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s and 7s. This is very simple. 1s to 7s in a single vertical row. You will arrange them and then you will encircle them. For your, for, for your easiness, for your convenience. 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s and 7s. Then you will move to the second vertical row. In second vertical row, you will start from 2, not from 1. You will leave 1. You will start from 2, but 2p, 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p and 7p. That is, here this is S subshell, this is P subshell, 2p, 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p and 7p. Then you will proceed further. Now D, D starts from 3rd, S starts from 1, your P starts from 2nd and D starts from 3rd, 3rd, that is 3d. 4D, 5D and 6D. No need to go to 7D. And lastly, the F. F starts from 4th. That is 4F and 5F. You will leave the 6th and the 7th for your convenience. Now once again, how to make this table? 1S to 7S, 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S and 7S. P will start from 2nd till 7th, that is 2p, 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p and 7p. D, D starts from 3rd and ends at 6, that is 3d, 4d, 5d, 6d. And lastly, f, 4f and 5f. So these are orbitals, different orbitals. Now we have to recognize which orbital has minimum energy because we have to start from there. For that purpose, I have made some arrows. This is first arrow. And as far as other arrows are concerned, they are parallel to this arrow. This is first arrow, another arrow parallel to this, then this arrow parallel to this and so on. So these arrows, they will show you the increasing order of energy of these orbitals. You have to follow this rule while building up electronic configuration. One. Another thing that you must keep in mind that S subshell has how many orbitals? One. And every orbital can accommodate a maximum of two electrons. You must remember this. Please remember that every orbital can accommodate a maximum of two electrons. So S has only one orbital. So it will accommodate a maximum of two electrons. That is two into one. That is 2. So any s, s orbital, any s orbital that can accommodate a maximum of 2 electrons. As far as your p, this uh, subshell is concerned. p subshell has how many orbitals? 1, 2, 3. Every orbital can accommodate a maximum of 2. That means 2, 2, 2. That is 6. So it has 3 orbitals. That is 2 into 3. So your p orbital can p subshell can accommodate a maximum of six electrons. Similarly, as far as your d orbit d subshell is concerned, it has five orbitals. Each orbital contains maximum two. So you will have two into five, that is ten. D subshell contains a maximum of 
10 electrons and F 2 into how many? 7. That is 40. So this is a rule that each subshell, each S subshell can make accommodate a maximum of 2. These are all S subshells. All. 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S, every, uh, you, you have S there. So these can accommodate a maximum of 2 electrons. Maximum of 2, not more than 2. Your P, P can accommodate a maximum of 6 electrons. Whether it is 2P, 3P, 4P, 5P, 6P or 7P. And your D, D can accommodate a maximum of 10. So whether it is 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D, they can accommodate a maximum of 10 electrons. And as far as F is concerned, it can accommodate a maximum of 5 electrons. So this is how we have to proceed. But before proceeding further, we will take up another rule. That is Hund's rule. What does Hund's rule state? I will tell you. This rule is for regenerate orbitals. Regenerate or orbitals. As the name suggests, this rule was given by Hund. That is why Hund's rule. This rule stands for only regenerate orbital. Now what, what do you mean by regenerate orbitals? Regenerate orbitals are not present in S, S subshell. They are present in P, D and F. That is in those subshells which have more than one orbitals. More than one. Uh, more than one means in P we have three. More than one. In D we have five. More than one. And in F we have as many as seven. That is more than one. The, this rule stands for only these. P, D and F. Now for example I have this one, 2p, 2p orbital, 2p, orbit, uh, 2p this uh, subshell has how many orbitals, 3, 1, 2 and 3, these orbitals they all belong to 2p, these orbitals all belong to 2p that is they have same energy, they have similar energy. That is why they are known as regenerate orbitals. Now what do you mean by regenerate orbitals? Regenerate orbitals are those orbitals which have similar energy. For this, for uh, regenerate orbitals, we have a rule known as Hund's rule. Hund's rule. What does this rule say? This rule says that while filling up these uh, orbitals, that is your regenerate orbitals, your pairing is done. Pairing means uh, to give two electrons, to assign two electrons to the orbital. Pairing can be done only if all other have attained one. For example, I will take an example for this rule. For example, I have four electrons and I have to fill up these four electrons in these three regenerate orbitals of 2p subshell. Now how many electrons I, I have? Four. I have to fill up these. There are so many ways of filling these orbitals. One way is this. Suppose this is 2p orbital, 2p subshell, it has 3 orbitals, I have suppose 4 electrons, I have to fill up in these orbitals. Now how we can fill up? One way of filling is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 electrons. Another way of filling is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now see, here 4 electrons in 2 orbitals bus, but this remains empty. Here we are violating this rule. Because you can't do pairing of orbitals unless all other orbitals, all other regenerate orbitals have a minimum of one electron. So this is wrong. Coming to third. Here you have one, 
here two and here one. We have given one electron to this, one electron to this and two to this. This is again wrong. Wrong. Why? Because I have done pairing but not in the first. Pairing has been done in the second orbital. So it is wrong. This one, the middle one, just see it. I will again fill these four orbitals. One, two, three. Now how many electrons are left? One. Now I can do Gopar pairing. So pairing is done only when all other orbitals have got one electron each. So this is Hohn's rule. So these rules, they sum up to give you electronic configuration of element. Now let's take some examples of electronic configuration of some elements following these three rules. Let me take uh, an element, say carbon. Its atomic number is 6. And I will build up its electronic configuration following ABBA rule. This is ABBA table. This table is known as ABBA table. And I will uh, take up this uh, table while uh, building up electronic configuration of carbon. Now see. Your arrow that falls on 1s. So you will write 1s. These are s subshells. S orbitals. They can accommodate maximum 2. So let me assign 2 electrons to it. Then second arrow falls on 2s. How many electrons will be given to 2s? This is all s. 2. S subshell. Maximum 2 electrons. After 2s the arrow goes to 2p. How many electrons can be given to 2p? Every p subshell has 6. Suppose if I give, now first count, how many electrons have you assigned? 2 plus 2, 4. Now you have only 2 electrons left because the atomic number is 6. So you can't give it 6, you can give it only 2. So this is electronic configuration of carbon. Uh, I have followed this uh, uh, table. Let me give you an example of another uh, element, say chlorine. Its atomic number is 70. And as far as its electronic con uh, configuration is concerned, I will again follow this table. 1s2, then another arrow falls on 2s, s has two electrons as you know. After 2s, 2p. How many electrons can be assigned to 2p? 6. This is p. Every p has 6 electrons. Every d has 10 electrons. Every f has uh, 14 electrons. Now 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 6, 10. Now how many electrons are still left? 7. So I will move further. After 2p, 3s. How many electrons can be given to 3s? Every s has 2. So 3s2 will have 2 electrons. After 3s, the arrow goes to 3p. Let us count electrons first. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 6, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. Now I require only 5 to get 17. So this is electronic configuration of chlorine. Let me go to some other element for your convenience, for your practice. Let me take calcium. Atomic number of 20. Let's uh, make electronic configuration. First, 1s2. Then arrow goes to 2s. 2s2. Then I have 2p. 2p6. After 2p, 3s. 3s2, after 3s, I shall have to move to 3p, let us count first, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 6, 18, after 3p, uh, I have to move to 4s, let us again count, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 2, 10 plus 2, 12, 18 and only 2 can be given to 
for s and and you can only give for uh, 2 to 4 s so this is electronic configuration of calcium similarly you can build electronic configuration of any other element following this table now there are a few exceptions we will uh, we will uh, take those exceptions in next topic for today it is all thank you very much